The group is called Moms Against Poverty. Now, its mission for the past 10 years has been to help children who live in some of the most difficult circumstances you can imagine. So because of MAPS program since 2008, 200,000 children and families globally have been impacted. Mm -hmm. We've built 27 schools, wow. seven libraries, and we've been able to give free education and vocational training to over 100,000 children. Now, I want to make clear that this is not just in the United States. We're talking about worldwide, aren't we? Absolutely. We're in 14 countries currently working, as mm -hmm. you can see there on the screen. Yeah. Uh, Senegal, Africa, Cambodia, and the list goes on and on. Das buddhistische Königreich Kambodscha, idyllisch am Mekong gelegen, und seine Hauptstadt Phnom Penh sind auch Wahlheimat des Schweizers Timon Seibel. Als Sozialarbeiter für die NGO Moms Against Poverty hat er die Jungs in Gastfamilien untergebracht und ist eine Art Vaterfigur geworden. Nach dem Besuch eines Metal-Konzertes waren sie so fasziniert von der lauten, eruptiven Musik, dass sie kurz darauf selbst eine Band gründeten. Für die NGO eine neue Form der Aggressionstherapie – mit Erfolg. Und jetzt in Wacken erwarten uns mehr als 80.000 Menschen. Das ist Wahnsinn. Mein Herz schlägt ganz heftig und ich glaube, das verändert unser Leben, unsere Zukunft. Die weltweite Metal-Community empfängt Dutch Guy mit offenen Armen. Für die 16- bis 20-jährigen Teenager, die nie zuvor ihre Heimatstadt verlassen haben, ist das Open Air ein positiver Kulturschock. What stands out to you that is closest to your heart about the work that MAP has done? MAP has different projects, I mean different projects that mm -hmm. we programs that we support. Yeah. The program that is closest to my heart right now is education. Mm -hmm. Because we do believe the education is the way, of, way out of the poverty. Sure. And for a lot of countries that we deal so with. So with them having it here is like an emergency pack. They can come knock on the door, ask for, you know, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, sanitary napkins. Anything that people need. Nita Mingo is the liaison for Moms Against Poverty with schools, churches, and centers like this. There's a need out there. There's a lot of people that's in poverty, people that need help. So they provided the deep freeze for us. We showed you last year that Matt bought a freezer and filled it with high quality meats for the Oakland Frick Academy families. The Moms Against Poverty group wants to do the same thing for every school and center enrolled in the program. The group Moms Against Poverty sorted through bags of donated goods today. The items will go to the Cesar Chavez Academy in East Palo Alto, where 90 percent of the 800 students there live below the poverty line. Frank, I'm at the Cesar Chavez Academy, where the school gym is empty now, but a few hours ago it was packed. Some 1,000 gifts were handed out tonight. These are the faces of the poor. 94% of the students at this school live below the poverty level. I just had three families become homeless last week. The Como Esta Taqueria restaurant in Palo Alto and a peninsula group, Moms Against Poverty, partnered to bring this night of holiday happiness. We love to bring the joy of Christmas to these children. A lot of these children will never get a toy, will never have a chance to really, really fully enjoy the Christmas. And we see it our responsibility to bring it to them. There are some children are born in the life of comfort and privilege, and some children have to suffer all throughout their childhood. And so, Moms Against Poverty was born in an orphanage to ease the suffering of children. It has grown into a global organization that provides orphan care, education, and hunger relief. So how this works is once a month, we are able to submit an order to MAP and then Safeway delivers our food. MAP empowers and improves the lives of underprivileged children and families in the U.S. through partnering with schools, shelters, and community centers to provide nutrition outreach and complementary hygiene programs in addition to a Holiday Helping Hands program. On a regular basis, we deliver organic protein and vegetables to partner schools and centers, which distribute them to children and their families at their discretion with regularity. Our hygiene programs link up with schools and centers to provide accessible and complementary laundry facilities and essential hygiene products to struggling families. How did the organization get started? Uh, the story of MAP mm -hmm. starts with an 11-year-old girl that I met when I was adopting my third child in an orphanage far away. Mm -hmm. She repeatedly asked me to adopt her as well, and I could not. 
So the last day that I went to say goodbye to her, she asked me the most difficult question has anybody has ever asked me. Uh -huh. She asked me why I can adopt my daughter by not her. Why mm. not me, she asked me. Sure. Had to so be heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. So I came back and with four other mothers, we decided to form an organization. And since this has developed to this amazing, amazing <laughs> organization.